Welcome back to another edition of Who Are the Mavs? I'm Marissa Voss and I am joined by Cade Borcher. This is gonna be a series where we talk about who the guys are off the ice so you guys get to know a little bit better who they are. Um, Cade, welcome and let's get started. But first we're gonna get into some hockey talk. Um, you have had a pretty great couple of series. Um, you got a hat trick um, against BGSU and then garnered like, I think five or six points within the last couple of games. What's been such a key points to what you're doing and what can you attribute to the success? Yeah, I think just not worrying about like fit, like the first couple of weeks, uh, I didn't have a goal f until the first weekend. So just try not to worry about that. Uh, just playing hard, sticking to my game and just knowing that it'll come, I think. And then just going into that more. Uh, I'm trying to shoot more, like I said earlier, and I think when we were talking after the intermission, just uh, playing with enough players um, that the pucks are going to get to the net. So just trying to get to the net more. And uh, yeah, I was lucky to get a couple sticks on some of those plays that my line mates gave me. So it was nice. It's all over. Maverick Hockey, Walker Dewar got his first NHL start with the Calgary Flames. Um, you, you know, shared some ice time with him. How does it feel, though, as a former teammate to see him make it to the show? Yeah, it's awesome seeing anyone I played with or just anyone who's played here especially um, make their NHL uh, debut. Uh, I can't speak highly enough about Walker as a player and a guy. Um, he's always been there for me and uh, yeah, I, I gave him a text and said good luck and congrats. So uh, it was nice seeing him be in the lineup. Yeah, absolutely. I think anytime you like see that too, it's like, okay, whoa, like I played with him, like, whoa, I interviewed him. That's like such a cool moment. So that's the hockey talk we got. We're going to get into the fun questions. I'm really excited for these. So let's get started on the first one. This is going to be, okay, what is the place you've always wanted to travel to? And it can be anywhere in the world. Ever since I was a kid, my brother and I have always both wanted to go to the Bahamas. Uh, I think like when we were little, we saw on Google, like this picture of like this water slide that goes underwater with like these sharks swimming in there and stuff. Uh, so I'd say that's always a place I've always kind of wanted to go to. I think that's Atlantis. I've been to the Is Bahamas. Yeah. yeah, I haven't been it's, to Atlantis, but I've definitely I been to the Bahamas. It, yeah. It's unreal. <laughs> like we went there on a cruise. It is the prettiest place. I've one yeah. of the prettiest places I've ever been. So understandable. What's your biggest fear? Well, this might be kind of dark, but dying. Ooh, dying? <laughs> yeah. I mean, just, I don't know. I don't like just thinking of it or any family members mm -hmm. going away. So I would just say that. It's kind of dark, but I'd say that. On the other note, mine is butterflies. So a little bit different <laughs> than dying. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if you've ever, if you're like, consider yourself a prankster, but what is one of the biggest pranks you've maybe pulled on someone? Or like maybe one of like the funniest ones if you have? Probably one time my brother and I, uh, we, were, we were pretty young actually and we were staying at my grandma's and my cousin was there she's a few years older than us and we put like the saran wrap like the clear saran wrap on the door and this was kind of dark out and she woke up she just ran right into it and her face just smushed right into it i think that was pretty funny because we were pretty young and our, my gra our grandma was helping us out, out with it so i think that was pretty funny that's hilarious that's like iconic i don't know i think mine is like i went to a friend's house and i put aloe on all of his doorknobs and then he woke up and just started touching it was like aloe everywhere <laughs> i don't know why that it was like the funniest thing for me but I, same thing i think when you're young you're like oh this is gonna be yeah. hilarious what tv show or movie can you quote from beginning to end the bench warmers uh, me and my roommate Nathan Smith, uh, we could we could go off each other on that whole movie. So, oh my gosh, that movie is so funny. David Spade, yeah, absolutely yeah, iconic. That was my favorite since I was it's little. Like, I nicked it. I nicked it. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Anything was. I think that the one for me would have to be Tommy Boy. Oh yeah. Oh my God, my family like we quote that nonstop. Yeah. It is hilarious. <laughs> Um, so then on to the next one, do you have any like weird superstitions or even something that you do before the games that you always have to do like pregame ritual? I'm not really, I don't really have any. Um, maybe just, I usually have a coffee before the game, but I'm, I'm the opposite of those guys who are, have the same plan every game. I kind of just, I probably do something different every, every day. So, or every game. So I'd say maybe just having a coffee. I feel like I have a coffee before every game. Interesting. I feel like. I thought I would think like hockey players are like are really like superstitious. I would think so. Most are. That, most, most are. Most are. We got some guys on our team who are they do some questionable stuff every game. But I mean, I have a few things with the guys we do in warm ups, but I don't really look at it as a superstition. Oh no, I wouldn't think so. Just little <laughs> handshakes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. So let's go. So what is if you out of any food, what's the one of the worst foods you've ever eaten or tried? I'm not a big pumpkin like pumpkin pumpkin pie pumpkin flavor like I see there's these pumpkin drinks every place this time of the season pumpkin ice cream and stuff that's just something I don't think I would ever get but I wouldn't say I'm like terrified of it I wouldn't eat it yeah I know I feel like the same way like I'm not really like I'm kind of pick particular in what I like but I'm not picky like when I tell people I'm like oh I love seafood and oysters they're like 
that's kind of the same thing. They're like, that's the yeah. worst thing I've ever tried. I'm like, no, I, I wouldn't say I have any. Like, I'm not too picky. I like everything. What is your dream car? If you could pick any car off the lot right now and doesn't have to, any price, what would be? What would it be? I'd say just a nice brand new truck. Uh, pretty simple, but I've always just been, I've always liked trucks or just a big Tahoe maybe. Uh, I'm a pretty simple guy. I don't, I'm not too big on it, like the little sport cars and stuff. I would just say a truck or a big Tahoe probably. Nice. I know. We, we live in Minnesota, yeah, so exactly. at least we're here right now, so we can't have the sports cars They're also yeah. just crash. Winter's coming, yeah. yeah. Bonus question. I asked Connor, one of these is a fun one, kind of in the team, but um, who is the best cook on the team? Not my roommate, Nathan Smith, that's for sure. <laughs> it's going to be like, what? Um, I'm, I'm a great cook. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see many of the boys getting after it in the kitchen. Um, I could say myself. Yeah. I, I, I like to cook. He's putting himself uh, in the ballot. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I'm good on the grill. Um, I don't know. I feel like a guy like Wyatt Amat's whipping up some random foods yeah. and random good meals. So I'll have to say Wyatt. Wyatt. I had um, Jared a couple of years ago. I had Jared on the podcast and he was adamant. Jared Spooner, adamant he was the best cook on the team. Oh, adamant. And I want to know, is that true? No. Uh, I mean, he, the only thing I've ever had from him is pancakes. And I'm not going to lie, they're good. But I mean, it doesn't take much to cook. So. I think anyone can make pancakes. So Jared... <laughs> No, Jerry. No, no, you're not the best cook. All right, so that is all for this segment of Who Are the Mavs? Come back next week where we're going to be choosing another Mav to get to know.